What's good YouTube? So today I'm gonna be going over how I do my cork. So before I get into the tutorial, I am putting some slow motion corks at the end of the video. So stick around, watch those if you just want some study material. I think I also have some really old ones I did back in like 2015 or 2016 on the channel. If you wanna go look, I'll link those in the description down below, but those are from like almost five years ago now I think. Um, but getting into the prereqs, you definitely need to have a good J-step gainer. Uh, if you don't have a good J-step gainer, go work on it. Uh, make sure you have a really good understanding how you do your J-step and how you're pushing off of it because that's really important for the cork. And it's so much easier if you have a decent J-step. The next thing I, I think would be awesome for you guys to have is a butterfly twist or a full of some sorts or some understanding on how you spin. You definitely don't need it to do a cork. You can learn a cork from just a gainer, but it makes it so much easier because you're not having to learn how to spin uh, at the same time learning a new skill. So I just really recommend being able to spin and having a good J-step gainer. Getting into the cork, what I'm really gonna focus on with you guys is the setup going into it, because the setup determines how the skill's gonna look. So if I'm doing my J-step and I'm going here, what really matters is you can walk into this all you want, but what matters is that pivot on the end. So if it's me right here, and if you notice, I don't really put any power in my J-step until the end. I'm literally here and on that last jump, and by the way, I spin to the right, you wanna get that foot in front of you and push from your toes as hard as you can. At the same time, your swing leg, so for me, my left, for anyone else who spins to the left, it'll be your right leg is swinging. You're gonna swing this leg up as hard as you can, and you wanna try to get it to horizontal. So if you're having problems with your cork being too vertical, like this, if your cork looks something like that, you're definitely not picking your leg up. So how you pick your leg up and pull back off, this, off the beginning of your cork is gonna determine how horizontal it is. And since your, a cork happens in a horizontal plane, that's where you want it to be. So really make sure that you're getting this leg up through here, at least at least getting it up to here. Um, and it's easier to do when you, you know, put your jump into it. You have a little bit of leeway through there. Um, but really try to get that leg up. That's really, really important to have good extension when you're doing this move. The next thing you wanna make sure you're doing as you're lifting your leg up is swinging your arms up and lifting through your chest and your hips. Spinning is generally the same no matter what, how you look at it. There's gonna be similarities, you know, from a cork to a full specifically. Your hips are becoming up and you wanna to try to hit a position that, you know, either looks like this, like this, or something similar to that, where you're keeping your stomach tight, keeping your back tight, and keeping everything up while you're spinning. So, from there, literally all a cork is, is here and then around, spot the landing and come out. A lot of problems and a lot of skills like this, you're gonna have problems with rushing it. And what I mean by that is coming off into the J-step, if you're so focused on the spin that you never take time to lift up into it, you're not going to get the outcome you want. It's gonna be a vertical, it's gonna be vertical looking, it's not gonna have a complete rotation, you're gonna lack height, and you definitely won't be comboing out of it, that's for sure. Another thing you wanna make sure you're doing, and this goes for all spinning, is you wanna make sure that you are keeping those, the, your shins from dropping behind your butt. And I see this a lot of times when people who are learning this, um, especially like on their own, is when they come up and spin, it's really slow and they're landing on their shins or hands and knees because when they come off, the kick going into the cork goes like this. This is not how you spin. No matter what you're doing, gymnastics, tricking, tumbling, power tumbling, whatever you're doing, you don't spin like this unless you want to bust. You want to make sure coming up, you don't have to be straight by any means. Your cork can be like this. But notice when I say like this, my foot is still coming up. You wouldn't really want to hit an angle with your leg that looks like this, something pulling up. And I'll put examples of those kind of corks um, in a second. You can kind of see what those look like bent. But that's really all there is to it. Um, a cork is really easy to do if you have a good understanding of a J-step. So to recap, the biggest things you want to look for in your cork is how you're lifting your legs off and how you're getting that extension. You really want to work, and I think these skills are easier to watch and kind of apply to your own skills than for me to go over this whole big long tutorial because at this point in your, you know, tricking and stuff, you should be just applying the concepts that you already know and are aware of to other skills. For example, all this is is applying a spin to a J-step gainer. And to do that, it's here, leg up to initiate the spin, everything come up and then around and spot to land. That's all a quirk is. But anyway, back to the recap. Full extension of the leg, you want a really good horizontal lift through your swinging leg. Make sure you're lifting your hips and your chest up and your arms come up and around with your body. 
Make sure you really pay attention to the slow motion examples that I'm gonna put at the end of the video. And if you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below. If you found this video um, helpful, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button for me. It really does help a lot to show any kind of support. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for other skills you want me to cover, for sure, feel free to leave a comment down below. Anyway, guys, enjoy these slow motion corks. I will see you in the next video. Until then, I'm gonna get up out.